Hey y'all, it's Kyrie with How Stuff Works, and today we are in Old Car City, USA to check out some cool jump art. Dean Lewis is the owner of Old Car City, USA. He's also the curator of this 34-acre art installation where metal and moss intertwine across 4,200 classic cars, including a rare Ford Edsel and even Elvis Presley's last car. Dean's been curating this place for decades, and now the trees and vegetation are as much a part of his art as the rusted out classic cars. And we have a lot of famous photographers like Mount Mokes on Beach Hall, like Bill Portman's coming next week and bring groups to Oh, and we had another guy that's a uh, TV news. name's Art Book out of Seattle. He came and stayed, he's here three days. He but Old Car City didn't start out this way. Dean's family has owned the property since the 30s, when it was originally just a general store. Soon, his family started taking in cars to sell for parts, and they eventually turned the land into a junkyard. But it wasn't until decades later when the cars were rotting and rusting that Dean had inspiration for the future. Started about eight or nine years ago. This one guy kept coming back about twice each year. You see, my wife's going to ask me to take pictures. You take all the pictures you want. So anyway, he brought this lady in one day and he started taking pictures of her. So I got thinking he uh, he makes money out of this, you know. And so then uh, I started uh, uh, letting groups come in and they'd pay me so much money. And it grew and then it went all over the world, you know, the internet and all. So people come all over the world. Like uh, yesterday, people were here from Italy. They come here and find just about every make of American cars, from Pontiac to Ford and Cadillac to GMC. Even retired school buses have made Old Car City their final resting place. But it's not just the cars here that draw in the creative types. It's how Mother Nature puts her special artistic touch on the cars as well. Over the decades, as the trees have grown taller, some have taken a car or two up with them. Other trees have simply grown through the cars, like this 1939 Chevy, which is known as the two-ton flower pot. It's a favorite of photographers. Dean has kept nearly every car he's ever owned, and they've all ended up somewhere on the property. For example, this car was a wedding gift to him. Of course the cars are the main attraction at Old Car City, but visitors also come here to see tons of other folk art along with the six miles of trails, all made by Dean. Over the years, Dean has restored a few cars, but discounts those who say he's simply letting the cars rot away in the woods. Instead, he believes Old Car City gives them a second life to live on forever in photos.